Hey everybody, Tuesday, January 12th, day two, 21 days of prayer. I want to ask you to consider today, what is it you want to see God do? Yesterday we just did introduction, and I know some just some apologies probably in order. We Some of you didn't even get to see uh, the Ephesians 6 reference and a place to read, but I'm just going to talk us through that, pray for us, and then ask you to pray around this idea too. You know, when you're going through a season like this, to stick in it for the long haul is super important. If we don't just kind of get a really, you know, excited start and then flame out, so much more can can happen. So 21 days, if you had one consistent prayer for yourself, what would it be? What do you want to see God do in your life? We like to start every one of these years like this. And the reason why, uh, this was my devotional time this morning, John chapter 5, Jesus goes to... Uh, place where there's a, a pool of Bethesda. And uh, verse 5 says, one man was there who had been disabled for 38 years. So this is a place where um, those who are disabled go and um, are given what they need and kind of taken care of and um, a place where there's gathering of people with deep need. And so for 38 years, 38 years, this man has been laying there. Then it says in verse 6, when Jesus saw him lying there and realized he had already been there a long time. Okay, yeah, so I think so, 38 years. He said to him, what a crazy question. Do you want to get well? He said, well, of course he wants to get well. He's been laying there 38 years. And yet Jesus thought it was a question to ask him. He must have been wanting him to dig deep into uh, what was going on in his heart and his soul and what it might be that um, could actually, what, what could he see as a possibility? Like what, what was it that, um, that this man could even envision happening? You know, immediately he says in verse seven, um, he starts to, to say, well, here's why I don't, you know, I don't really know. He, he says, I don't really have any help. The disabled man answered, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. So they believed that this water had healing power and it says, but while I'm coming, someone goes down ahead of me. He's like, people just keep jumping in front of me in line. I just can't, I can't even get there. And it seems his answer um, is so uh, closely connected to the question that Jesus asked and that Jesus knew what was going on in his life and in, in, in his heart. So what can you envision? Uh, if, if you look down deep in your own life, you say, is there more spiritual life for me? Is there something, maybe it's a request that I'm praying for, um, or it's something that I want for other people. It's something I want for me or something I want for other people. What is it? Do you want to get well? Are there reasons why you can't experience all God has for you in these 21 days? So I, that's what I want you to do. I want you today to read through John 5 verses 1 through 15. Look at the details of this short passage. Consider your own um, your, your own desires and what it is you want to see um, happen and what it is you would pray for. Maybe you're fasting and um, when that hunger arises, maybe you're staying away from your phone when you go to reach for it. Here's a prayer. This is the thing I want to, I want to see God do. So let me pray for you and then I want us, you to spend some time uh, in this passage today. So Father, I pray you'd open up our eyes. Give us a greater sense of what it is you want to see accomplished in our lives in these three weeks. God, I pray that we would look down deep in our own spirit, our own soul, and ask the question, do we really want to see this change? Do I really want my life to be all that you can say, all you say that it could be? God, would you help us? Would you give us a bigger vision in these days? We need you to show us what's possible as we follow Jesus together. And we pray in his name. Amen.